guy called me about a vintage jukebox he wants to sell. Vintage jukeboxes are always good sellers, so I'm headed over to his house to check it out. Hey, there he is. Welcome. Come in, come in. You're the one with the jukebox? I am the one with the jukebox, yes. So this is it. This is our beauty. This is the 1947 Wurlitzer Jukebox 1100. And it is a gem. This thing is like a fine bottle of wine. It just gets better with age. Kind of like me. <laughs> <laughs> I love this jukebox because it is a classic jukebox and it is in pristine condition because my wife is meticulous about taking care of things. If you take care of things, they last a long time. Look at me. I mean, everything about this I absolutely love. Neat company. Um, there was a guy named Wolitzer, mm -hmm. and yeah. he uh, came over from Germany, the 1800s. And by the 1950s, Wolitzer was a huge company. They made vending machines. They made jukeboxes. Mm -hmm. They made musical instruments. I think this was the first post-war machine. In 1946, they, um, I think they were back ordered just due to the fact that, I mean, you couldn't get anything like that during the war. They didn't want to look at cheap. They didn't want to look too flashy. It was really a hard mix to get the right look. And this was what they came up with. And to this day, it baffles me that we don't build stuff this beautiful anymore. Yes. Um, does it work? Absolutely. So when you want to select a song, then you just press this. Record comes out, the turntable comes up from underneath and takes it to the needle. Cool. We get two boxes in the shop, but rarely ones from the 1940s, and practically never in this kind of shape. Collectors will go nuts for this. This is what they want. It's cool. How much do you want for it? 6,000 is the minimum. Ooh. These go for, in perfect condition, they go for right around five or $6,000. So I would give you like three grand for it. Well, we've already turned down three grand. I have to warranty these things. I have to deliver them. I could go 35. No, it's 6,000. There's no money at 6000 There's no money for me to make. OK, well, we know what its value is. And uh, we certainly don't want to just give it away. I'll tell you what, um, I, I'll give you 4000 bucks. Well. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'd have to think it over, and I'd certainly want to talk with my wife before I decided anything like that. Thanks for letting me see it. OK. Thank you. It would be great to have $4,000, but I also know that it's really worth a whole lot more than that. <laughs>